Your Excellencies, Mrs. Simon, Mr. Fraser, Monsieur l'Ambassadeur Miraillet, Lieutenant General Paul, Mayor Arnold, dear Don, Chief Richards, Armit, Mr. Peary, Major Van Busker, Mrs. Pitre, Mr. Byford, Mr. Ferguson, Mr. Kay, members of the Canadian Armed Forces, veterans, families, friends. It is an honour to be present with you today on behalf of the Government of Canada to mark the 80th anniversary of D-Day and the Battle of Normandy. As we stand here today in the shadows of the Moncton Cenotaph, we see the young Canadian soldier looking down at us with sadness. This statue represents each and every one of us gathered here to solemnly remember the more than 5,000 Canadian soldiers who broadly fought and died on D-Day and in the months of bitter fighting that followed in Normandy. Some of them were members of the North Shore New Brunswick Regiment. Some were from here, the greater Moncton area. They were fathers, sons, brothers, neighbors, some merely teenagers. Le matin du 6 juin 1944, On the morning of June 6, 1944, tens of thousands of allied soldiers attacked the beaches of Normandy occupied by the Germans. Faced with a ferocious, determined enemy, they succeeded at their endeavor, breaking through the highly fortified Atlantic wall and pushing as far as possible inside and liberating the occupation of France. Canadians would go on to play an important role in bitter struggles in other places like the Scheldt, Rhineland and the Netherlands during the Allied offensives that would eventually help defeat the Germans and see victory in Europe Day declared in May 1945. But even 80 years later, it is what our troops did on D-Day and in Normandy that makes many Canadians think of first when asked about our country's most impressive military accomplishments. Today, we're privileged to welcome veterans of the D-Day landings and the Battle of Normandy. And I've had the chance to meet with them and talk with them, maybe Lord, Horace, Russell, George, and many more. Thank you for sharing your memories. Thank you for sharing your stories. Thank you for being with us today. 80 years ago, you were among the more than 1 million Canadians who left their homes to fight for democracy during the Second World War and to liberate the oppressed from the forces of evil that threatened them. Aujourd'hui, vous faites Today, you are amongst a few people of this generation who are still with us. For many of us, you are giants of Canadian history. And even with the distance of time, neither 80 years, 100 years would diminish the scope and meaning of your service for Canada and the world. On behalf of a grateful nation, please accept our most profound appreciation for your service and sacrifice in the cause of peace and freedom during the Second World War. Canada is what it is today because of the service and sacrifice of you and your fallen comrades. And we are forever in your debt. Today, we found ourselves amidst an international security crisis. War has broken out in Europe, in Africa, and in the Middle East. Tensions have risen in the Indo-Pacific. The tectonic plates of the pieds. world order are moving under Global our feet. powers are disrupting the very peace that Canadians fought and gave their lives for. At a time of global uncertainty, we must vigorously defend our values of democracy, freedom, and peace for the next generation of Canadians so they can enjoy the same security and prosperity given to us by those who fought so hard for our freedom. 
we will draw our strength from those who have served in the past and, serve, and those serving today. And we'll continue to draw strength from those who will serve for years to come. Today, in their honor, we pay tribute to the brave Canadian heroes who sacrificed and gave their lives so that we could live free. Lest we forget. Merci.